This video is an attempt to make you feel ready to serve in the fourth and fifth grade room. This is what the room looks like in the week when the doors are closed. But here is your file folder. And I'm gonna be, um, I'm gonna introduce you to what's in here. This very first folder is this week's lesson plan. So this is a full week's lesson plan. Everything is in there. And then we have the intro for groups and the closing for groups. The closing kind of stands for your review question time. And so, and then at the very back, the very last folder, it's, it's next week. So this is where you'll find next week. You can take that home with you and prepare for Sundays. Now, what I want to show you is how the whole lesson kind of how we're approaching it for the fourth and fifth graders. For the first through third, we're just starting at the front of this. They're doing small group time, then going in and doing large group, and they're just following the plan as is. But we wanted to elevate the fourth and fifth graders and recognize that they're a little older. And so the way we're doing this is we basically are taking this full lesson plan and pulling it apart. And so this is how this week is gonna go for you. Matthew is doing the curiosity with the whole group. So as you know, you come in for 15 minutes and you do your um, free play connection. And remember over in the corner where those uh, cabinets are, are games you can pull out for the table. So Matthew, for 15 minutes, everybody's doing the, um, this is in the glare, relational time. But at 10.15, Matthew, you will start the curiosity. And there are some questions to ask. There's some blindfolding and having kids go through an obstacle course. You do not have time in that 15 minutes to take every kid who wants to go through that obstacle course. You have more than just two blindfolds. You can send as many as uh, blindfolds as you have. Have, but you only have 15 minutes to do the game and ask the question. So the questions are here, and if you turn the page, Matthew, you're going to pay attention to the, the game right here. Um, what's your guide? Who's your guide? There you are. And then we go into the, at 1030, worship and Bible story. So if we are not on time, then really we're playing catch up the whole time. Worship and Bible study. This week, Heidi is gonna take over and at the very top of page seven is where the um, Bible starts. So Heidi has that and she's gonna teach kids about the Holy Spirit and them leading us. And then when that's over, we have this memory verse and identity time. This is what Chris Maddox is gonna teach. And it is not gonna be the memory verse. I should have waited until we like iron some things out. But the memory verse is gonna be worked on in your small groups. But Chris, before they go to small groups, is gonna have them um, find their identity in the Bible story. And so she's gonna lead the group in this part and we her and i have talked we're not going to do a pathway on the floor but these prairie pray points that we can ask the holy spirit to help us with um we're going to just teach the kids that the holy spirit helps us do the right thing the holy spirit helps us become like jesus they it helps strengthen our faith it gives us power over sin that it, we, um, and it brings us adopted into God's family and that we can be led by the Spirit. So these are going to be on the wall and I might put up two sets around the room and the kids are going to just go and after Chris talks to them about um, the Holy Spirit leading after Heidi had, they're going to go and be actively engaging in praying to the Holy Spirit. And this is our time to teach kids how to pray, which is a high value in our Sage Hills kids. Kids talking with God and then listening for him to respond. My goodness, it's so fun to listen to what God says to our kids. So these things are all... Um, going to be in that folder. What I am going to put on your, your morning, like if we were doing an experiment for curiosity, that works better in smaller groups and not just one big group. So then I would have the experiment in the middle of your table with your Sunday morning schedule and your review questions. In this faith part, this is what you do 
for your um, small group time. I think it says small group review and journal. So they come and bring their journals here. And the first thing you do is you work on the memory verse and we'll have popsicle sticks sitting in the middle as this is explained and they'll work in groups and put the memory verse in order. This is your time to hide God's word in their heart so that they would know that for he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight, that they are all chosen. That was one of the truths that was really important to me. And then here are um, just some wonder truth. Uh, you just really need to just memorize the Bible verse. And, there, and then your review questions are right here. What did they learn about God? through the Bible verses they read today. What did you learn about yourselves, people from the Bible that you read today, and how will this change how you live, and who can they share with this week? So those are your review questions. Your job is to get them engaged um, to the story. What surprised you about the story? Was there anything you don't understand? Those kinds of questions, like when I heard that for the first time, I wondered, what did that mean? Anybody think that way? Let's look, you should have your Bibles at your table, Let's read, look at it yourself. Does anything stand out? Engage in conversation. If they're not overly conversing, you can share with what you know. You could just go to prayer. You could just say, hey, let's, if the Holy Spirit's going to lead us, how do you want to be led this week? So go pray before you come. Be prepared to see God at work in our kids. And um, if you have any questions, you can always reach out. All right, God bless.